Hmm. Is it working? Ah! Thank you, Activision. That was loud enough. So, uh, hi, guys, and uh, welcome to uh, a very uh, interesting game that is kind of different, and I decided to play Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. It's a new type of game, and as I said, I try decided to try it out, and let's just freaking audio. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that that voice though. So uh, if you enjoy the music, then too bad for you. But I'm going to lower it anyway. Uh, no, not reset to default. And uh, let's. There we go. Vibration. I do not have like. I'm playing it on the PC. Uh huh. Let's hope everything is all right over here. Authentic or casual? I'm not very. I'm not a hunter myself, and I have. I'm not familiarized with hunter games, so I'm just going with casuals. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's uh, let's get started. It looked like a pretty nice game, and I really wanted to try it out. I'm not, as I said, I'm not familiar with uh, hunter games, but um, just a wild life. I like I played Game Dev Tycoon and made like really awesome games on the Hunter topic. Oh man. Game Topic. That intro man. Smoke deep. Man. I would totally shut my pants over there. Take it quick. Well, that escalated. Nice shot. De escalated quickly. It's a hunter's paradise. No roads, no people, no place like it. One chance, one perfect shot. I'm Jim Shockey. I'm Wade Middleton. I'm Ralph Sanzarulo. I'm Vicky Sanzarulo. Welcome to Big Game Country. Man, they sure know how to make a really awesome intro. Now let's see about the game itself. Uh, equipped calls. It is the currently selected call. So I heard that it's really... Um, it's really detailed. I mean, you have to be stealthy. You have to like track animals. You have to get them close. Oh, you have GPS map. Well, that's very useful. Why don't we first start by breaking in these new boots? Go ahead. Have a look around. All right. Fairly well. We have a gun. We can look around. WSD as always. Tracks like these can tell you a lot about the animal who made them, oh. the species of game, the direction it's heading, and how long ago it's passed. Really? It's all plain to see once you know how to look. Well, I have no idea how to look, so thank you very much. <laughs> I sent some new coordinates to your map. Head to that waypoint and see if you can't spot that buck. He should be just up ahead. I guess it should, so let's go, let's sprint. Step softly now. The less noise, the better. All Try right. to move when the animal is moving. Can we like crouch or something? Oh yeah. Usually represented by. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Hear that? That's our buck. All right. But it's. Very useful to see the sounds represented visually. Hmm. Sounds like he's hidden in the brush up ahead. All right, so we have binoculars. Oh, all right. Oh, ah. Hmm. Oh, F. Hmm. 
There are many animals. Can we only tag one or can we tag multiple animals? I'm not sure about that. Hmm, it seems like only one. Let's see. To remain invisible, use cover and keep out of the animal's sight line. Any kind of quick movement is a dead giveaway, so if your prey is looking in your direction, remain still. You can also reduce your visibility by crouching or laying prone. Alright, how do I... I think it's that... No, not... How do I lay prone? Hmm... Oh, there we go, you have to hold the C. Very good. I still don't know what is our target. I don't think uh, any of these uh, are. I can't see their trophies. Oh, big male animals. Got it. We have to find the alpha male and kill it. Well, very useful that they're not looking at me. I sent some new coordinates to your map. Head to that waypoint and see if you can't spot that buck. He should be just up ahead. Alright. You said that like last time, but never mind. Can I run? Do they hear me from here? I mean, I'm behind these... Uh... Large solid obstacles such as rocks conceal your presence from the animals. When behind them, you can move faster and remain undetected. That's very useful. Okay, let's see. Ooh. What do we have here? Holding your breath will steady your aim. Is but this? you can't hold your breath forever. Is this the target? Hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, I think it is. Holding your breath will steady your aim. But you can't hold your breath forever. The placement of the shot is just as important. When shooting at a deer, it's always best to aim for the lungs or the heart. Sometimes an animal will run away after taking a fatal hit, but he won't. Oh man, so many details. Ah, I got his spinal cord, I think. That was not good. Well, it was good practice. I think I aimed too high a little. Okay. Holding your breath will steady your aim. But you can't hold your breath forever. All right. The placement of the shot is just as important. When shooting at a deer, it's always best to aim for the lungs or the heart. Sometimes an animal will run away after taking a fatal hit, but he won't get far. You'll need to find the blood trail and follow it to claim your trophy. Let's see now. How about now? Ooh, that's left lung, right lung. And out the other side. Double long shot. Blood tracks will give you an idea which way the animal went. Head that way and you should find some more blood drops. Uh, it died. Yeah, you can't survive something like that. I mean, both your lungs getting pierced by such a bullet. Alright, blood tail. I, I literally see where it collapsed, so there's no point in following it like that. So, claim the trophy. Uh-huh. Vital... Alright. That's a good start. Now Thank let's you. talk about some more advanced hunting skills. Oh my. Already? I just started. Go ahead and open up your GPS map. The map will let you know what animals can be expected where. It shows all sorts of important stuff like terrain, wind direction, time of day, and general areas you might find animals. It'll also show the locations of hunting resources as you discover them. Hmm. Alright. Oh. The animal activity zones are also marked on your map, so you can quickly see where animals are usually feeding, watering, or bedding. Animals will move between these zones as the day progresses and their needs change. Awesome. The activity zones that are highlighted with a bright glow are the ones that are most likely to contain animals at the current time of day. A red glowing zone. In addition, it marks the location of advantageous hunting locations, such as preset blinds and stands. Man, so many details. It also indicates the direction the wind is blowing, 
as well as how the hunter's scent is carried yeah, by the wind. Yeah, I know about that. I played Last Winter Survival RPG and it's actually true. The map legend provides additional information to help you use the GPS map. Let's find a spot to observe a feeding plot. Close your map and head to the waypoint. Hmm, alright. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Take out your binoculars and scan the area. There are usually some deer around this time of day. There there's is. a blind just over there. But with the wind the way it is, there's no way to reach it without spooking the deer. Head along the tree line. Stay in cover until you're downwind of them. I can literally take him out from here. I played Sniper Elite, so... Hmm... I, <laughs> I'm really tempted to do it. Let, let's let's just try. I know that I should follow the tutorial and all that, but let's just try. It's a long distance. That was a total miss. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> Have that was a total Take miss. out your binoculars and scan the area. There are usually some deer around this time of day. There's a blind just over there. But with the wind the way it is, there's no way to reach it without spooking the deer. Head along the tree line. Stay in cover until you're downwind of them. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder how long can I keep my breath up? Ah, just below the heart. Oh, she is. It is hit. I have to. Ah, uh, come on. Take out your binoculars and scan the area. There are usually some deer around this time of day. All right, all right. I really hope that I could do that, but you know, I guess the game. The game won't allow it. <laughs> Would have been fun, uh, actually. But you know, tutorial, I just have to, like, do it, I guess. See that? You lost your smell and calmed right down. If a deer sees movement, it will stare. Freeze if you don't want it to spook. Hmm. How do I know if it's staring? Oh. I guess that was a sign. Right on the road. <laughs> yeah, the wind is blowing from like like that direction, and now I'm here, and it can't send. No. There's a stand just over there, but it'll be tricky reaching it without spooking the deer. Move slowly. Keep low and stay behind rocks. All right. Sounds like fun. How much time do I have? I'm not sure how many. If if you guys like it, I might do a few more parts, like uh, try to go into the campaign. But as I said, it's not really. Use your optics to observe the animal's body language. Glassing allows you to estimate the animal's alert state and plan a successful approach. Hello. Over here. So, yeah. Uh, I wonder if I can go through. I I should have went around, but maybe I can go through the bushes. Although. Move into the stand. Pay close attention to bushes, as moving fast through them can make a lot of noise and spook the animal. Also, make sure you keep out of the animal's sight. Yeah, I know it makes noise. Don't mind me. And how the hell am I going to climb that ladder without... <laughs> That's interesting. Oh. Sort of. Hmm. I think we're 
we're ready to take the shot. Oh, so just uh, randomly teleport in this. All right, fair enough. All right. Let's see. Should I aim for the head or? Never mind. Long it is. Oh, damn. Fine shot. I missed the launch, but at least That's I got away. Good shot. Head over and claim your trophy. Well, it's not slowing down. <laughs> there. Ah! Hell, he's not stopping, but never mind. Guess he's just. Uh, how can you run like that after your spine gets pierced? I mean, seriously. Spine gets pierced like that, you should really... Uh, yeah. It would be really bad, but never mind. I guess it eventually died off. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. The water does make a lot of noise, so I'll have to take that into account later. But, here is my trophy. There we go. Spine shot. You found him. Now claim your trophy. We I play did. by the rules out here. You need to claim every trophy you shoot. We don't like to see wounded animals, so don't take a shot unless you're totally sure you can hit the target. All right. Yeah, finish your hunt. Oh man, region. Oh, we only have one. <laughs> Never mind. I guess I'll start the first mission These southeastern then... woods are a good spot to kick off our tour. The combination of gently rolling terrain and an abundance of water makes this ideal country for white-tailed deer and wild boar. The weather is mild and the ground cover is plentiful. You should have no trouble tracking game and avoiding detection. Man. This game is actually really well made. Too bad it doesn't have that much attention. And let's see the gear credits. I guess... Can we buy anything? Oh. Uh, oh, there we go. Hmm. I guess I'll buy some of those. Yeah, I got it. There we go. Now let's see. There are three types. Regular hunt, pro hunt, and open hunt. Okay. Acquire unique experiences. Alright. Yeah, there's a lot of rules that you need to learn at the beginning, but never mind. Regular hunt. And open hunts are exactly open. You can do... Yeah. Available from the start. Alright, let's see. Hmm. So these are uh, these are pro hunts, these are regular hunts, and these are open hunts. Oh bears. I'm going to go for a a regular hunt over here. Up wind, down wind. One white tail, almost sand or a blind. Let's see. Probably going to do this and then um, stop. And uh, you know, as I said, if you really like this game, I might make a few more parts. If not, then this will be just it. But I really wanted to try it, and it's nice to see um, the combination between like uh, the sniper elite experience and the hunting experience. Because you know, you have a rifle with a scope, and I'm really tempted to just go like uh, shoot from way ahead. Oh man, lots of noises. Alright, not wasting any time. Oops. He's staring right at me. Hello, sir. Nice to see you too. Uh, 
Uh, let me see. Oh man, the map is. Perfect. They always bet in a place they can escape from if approached. So no dead end areas up against fences, cliff edges, or rushing rivers. I don't know if it's still there. Yes, it is. Oh man, I can definitely take a headshot there. Let me just see. Yeah, it's a white-tailed deer. It's on alert. The scope is really not that good. Let's see. Can we get it? Can we? Ah, too high up. That was close, but still off the mark. You need to practice your marksmanship to ensure a clean shot. Way off the mark. And they all ran away. Great! That's a great way to start a day. Hmm, what's that? How can you get there? Oh, this would have been so useful. <laughs> Never mind. I like it. You can just teleport to your places of interest, like, um, you know, <laughs> just no problem with that, or like this one, nice, okay, let's see if we can track the animal, he, yeah, it went just right over, so it will probably bleed a little, but that will be it, hmm, wait, which way? Yeah, I saw this one, but man, I'm I'm terrible at hunting. Just give me some zombies or something. I can totally uh, use that. Was that something? No, just my imagination. Okay, I'll just oh, a bunny. Oh man, so nice. Guess I'll just uh, cut to the part where I actually find them. Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm way farther than anything. Alright. Oh man. Ah, uh, this was a really long and unnecessary... Uh, walk, but never mind. Mm -hmm. uh, if I only could get there, but I think I'm up against the wind, and that's really not the way it should be. Ah, crap. Oh, never mind. Not like I wasted a whole lot of time getting way over here. All right. Oh, get down. Get, get down. There we go. We saw some animal tracks over there, and uh, this is a place where they can gather. So I can finally get there, and hopefully, I can do this. They're not here, I'll just be very mad and not play this game ever. Hmm. Oh, they don't seem to be here. Hmm, where are they? Oh. Oh, there they are. They seem to come towards this place. And they all seem to look at me. Hmm. Female. Need a big ass male and everything will be fine. 
There we go. Now to only get this thing. So far away. Oh, a headshot would be just so freaking nice right now. And so freaking useless. Ah, uh, well, uh, see you in a second, guys. All right, here we are back. Let's see if we can do this. There are lots of animals here, as they, it appears. At least, that's at least. Uh, we can hear them, but um, we just need to find the proper one. That's a female. Another one. They seem to be coming over here. Because this place is just a place of bedding and, um, you know. The wind is finally very in our favor. They're getting really close. I'm amazed that they can't see me. Yeah, they can't detect me by smell. Really? You can't see me over here? There we go, that's the male. Ah, right behind the tree. We'll have to get... So annoying that my experience healing us are conflicting. I mean, Sniper Ellie tells me to aim ahead of the target and... Ah, let's hope this is good. Ooh, skull. Headshots are a risky business. A shot to the vital organs of the body is always the safer, cleaner option. I did hit something there. Why, is, why are headshots a risky business? I mean, I know they are dif more difficult, obviously, but um, they should be an instant kill. Uh, let's see. If, they, if that thing didn't die from that, I'm going to be so horrible at least. Man, it sure run a lot. At least, uh, yeah, the blood tail is very useful. Uh, you're not getting away this time. Ah, so many pushes and stuff. Right, right. I think I think we are getting closer. How the? That was a clean hit. How the hell do you still run like that after a headshot? I mean, seriously though. What is it? What are the deer skulls made of? Oh hell, I lost it. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, it went over here and then here and then up. Claim the trophy. Oh, it finally fell down or what? <laughs> that was freaking amazing. Just need to... There we go. It's interesting, if you run, uh, the um, you lose track of it, but if you stop, you can uh, see it again. Very interestingly made. What the hell is that blood trail? Oh, there we go. There. Oh. For a second, I thought I lost it. It died right over here. Two hours. I guess I had two hours left, or I don't know. But finally, I have it. All vitals missed. That was a headshot. Come on. That's enough for me. So yeah, this has been um. 
This has been Cabela's Big Game Hunter. As I said, a game that I'm not really familiar with, but nevertheless very well made and very interesting in concept. So, hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, subscribe, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye. Derp, 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 derp,